Warning, this video contains And I am going to do a clip out of this. So uh, we do have some <laughs> rumor news. Breaking news! Now this is a rumor. I love covering rumors. I'm not telling you to believe it. But we have uh, a scooper. Not who you think it is. Scooper? No, I think this oh, is okay. pretty plausible. Because I've heard that this series is pretty popular on netflix is where this uh we're gonna watch a quick video it's from small screen youtube channel uh, and it's oh hold on a second i gotta bring it up now i'm now i'm miffing it hold on a second get the audio bridgerton you ever watch bridgerton no. I know it's really. I really know it's. I don't. I don't know. It's very popular on Netflix. Uh let me see. Bridgerton's Jonathan Bailey eyed for James Bond. Greetings, agents. Welcome back to Small Screen. There are a number of actors who are being tied to the Bond role, and there seems to be a new contender in the mix. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get to the point pretty fast in this video, because if you've been here before, you know we don't pad these videos out for the YouTube algorithms. If you like that about <laughs> us, please like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell. Now grab a drink and sit back while we go through the details. Vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. We've been hearing someone new has been named as a runner-up to take over the titular role of James Bond. There's been many actors rumored and wanted by fans to take over the Bond role after Daniel Craig left the franchise, such as Richard Madden, Sam Hewen, Henry Cavill, Tom Hardy, and Edris Alba. However, according to a source close to the situation, Jonathan Bailey, currently starring in Bridgerton, is now being eyed for the role. The more you think... Okay. Does he have the look? I don't he know. He has the look. Is it kind of boring? As far as... I mean, my initial impression is like, uh... You know, I want something really dynamic and new with the James Bond. Like, I think Amazon purchased, you know... I mean, he seems. I don't know anything about this guy. So I mean, it's not official yet, but they're yeah. Very, I'm just, he's in. He, I think he's in the top consideration, is what they're suggesting. That that I the mean, rumor is that he's very. You know, uh, Anthony says not watching. I account. can't. I'm not like gonna say that I wouldn't watch it because, like I said, I haven't seen the show that he's in. I don't know anything about his acting ability, but I could see it just based off the look. Um, it could possibly work, you know. Well, well here, here's it just the... seems funny because it's not, it's it's not very interesting. Like, yeah, I've only ever... what's that, CJH? I've only ever watched two James Bond films in my entire life, and I don't even remember which ones they were. Oh, that's great! <laughs> we need to catch up. Well, let's let's see what else they have to say here. Think about it, the more it makes sense as Bridgerton Season 2 has been performing incredibly well on Netflix. Indeed. And Jonathan Bailey has been getting many people's hearts racing with his performance as Anthony Bridgerton in the show. Jonathan Bailey was also in the first season, but people's attention seemed to be mostly glued to his co-star, Reggae Jean Page. I was. So you may ask yourself, who is looking at Jonathan Bailey and what are some of the qualifications uh -oh. they see in him? Come now, it's not proper to stare. Well, our sources told us that the Bond producers have been taking a close look at the Bridgerton's Jonathan Bailey for the role and that the producers have been impressed by his acting ability, both on stage and on the screen. They added that they feel he has all the necessary skills to bring Bond to life for a new generation of viewers. The 33-year-old British actor is the right age for the role. 33, 33. I mean, should age come into, you know, we're not ages here, but that is a good age, too. That's I mean, another especially thing. if he's going to be doing it for 10 plus years, yeah. Yes. Yes. Because uh, how old is Henry Matt's Cavill? Of... Cavill, I don't know. Uh, I think like 45? 40, oh, 45. wow. It's... Oh, yeah. Let me, let, me, let me see. Henry Cavill's age. And uh, Idris Elba, how old is he? Oh, he's... He's 39. He's 39. Oh, so he's six years. Oh, I mean, it could work with him. with Henry Idris Cavill. Elba age. 
I think he's a lot older. He's almost 50. Yeah, Idris. Yeah, listen, listen. We love Idris Elba. And I think if there was a time for him, it would probably would have been him instead of Craig. Honestly. Yeah, now, I think his time now, is past. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm open to this. I'm not like thrilled by it. I could see it, but it also it seems like kind of a boring casting so far. Unless we see, unless they do something really <laughs> dynamic with the story, you know? Yeah, I don't know anything about him as an actor. I mean, like, I feel like he has a James Bond look. Yeah. I bet I think that a lot of people, you know, when people get upset about casting because he's not, like, a bigger name and they just talk about how he's, like, outshined in his own show, <laughs> you know, like, uh, that he really doesn't get that much attention from the audience. That's concerning. But mm. uh, maybe, like, but apparently possibly he has the acting jobs but like again i don't know anything about this guy but i think i i i think they like the smolder that he gets from the ladies audience and well i think his co-star thing. got most of it that's yeah what I'm talking about. he gets all the ladies oh okay see. maybe yeah. i misinterpreted. Oh, oh okay yeah all right. and has already shown talent on the small screen not this small screen although he is more than welcome to come in for an interview just send us a DM, Jonathan. Right. Now you may ask yourself, but small screen, does he have the experience to take on such a major franchise as Bond? Well, we're glad you asked. Before lending himself a role in the Sean Deland produced Netflix series, Bailey was mostly known for his work on stage. He was a West End regular and started his career as a child actor in Royal Shakespeare Company productions of A Christmas Carol and King John. Bailey then went on to star in David Hare's play, South Downs, for which he was nominated at the Evening Standard Theatre Awards as Outstanding Newcomer in 2012. He was also in the West End revival of Company, for which he won the 2019 Lawrence Oliver Award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role in the Musical. The actor then had stints on ITV's crime drama Broadchurch, BBC Two's W1A, and Channel 4 miniseries Crashing. The James Bond franchise is now owned by Amazon Studios after they acquired MGM <laughs> Studios. What do you make of this news? Do you think that Jonathan Bailey would be a good choice for the role of James Bond? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We do read all of them. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, hitting that subscribe button, and quacking that notification bell. We work hard for you on these videos, so we appreciate the help with the YouTube algorithm gods. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hmm. He's more of an unknown than they've gone before. Daniel Craig was, uh... I'll give him a thumbs up for that. And people didn't uh, like um, Daniel Craig. You remember at first either the casting? Yeah, I I, I don't know. It's interesting news. Uh, I, I I'm gonna do the clip out. Put this. Uh, Idris's time is you know is missing out again on it. I, I honestly look at re researching the age. I'm not at ages, but starting Bond at fifty, that's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. And I, I'm actually more inclined to think that if Cavill wanted to do it, 39 is not a horrible age to start. It's not. Yeah. And he, he, I think. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was he, 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 him in that Mission Impossible, that last movie, he was really, the oh, action amazing. sequences with him was really good. I love that movie. <laughs> I, I love Mission Impossible films. Mm. Um, But, I mean, this guy, he's, I mean, he has a good on, you know, he's a a very well-known theater actor and i mean to have to be able to you know have all these awards and this praise in the theater that says a lot um because i used to theater acting is tough you know and a lot of well-seasoned you know top tier actors come from the theater so maybe but again like i think it's just like boring in the sense that nobody really knows a lot about him and even in his own show he's kind of outshined so i think that that's the only concern Okay. Uh, here's also an article. Now, this is the other guy from Bridgerton. I thought would have been a good choice too, if the you know if they if they want a more yeah. diverse casting because he was pretty hot. No, I don't like that. You don't like him? I mean, he, to me, he just looks like. A, I mean, he's all right, but he. I mean, I I don't know. Like, what about to Tom me, Hardy? No, that's weird. <laughs> I like, that. I don't know, like Tom Hardy just seems like a weird choice to me. I feel like um, uh, good choices are Cavill, 
Um, Michael Fassbender, even though he's not oh, British, yeah. was interesting um, to me. I mean, but Tom he's a lot Holland. Tom too Holland, young, but too young, too young. Uh, what about this guy yeah. from? Prince I like him. I As like him. Bond? He was also in The Gentleman. He is freaking amazing. I like okay. him. Okay. I can Henry see. Him. No, no, no. Why? Adam, no, I don't know. I, I didn't. I still didn't see the last Bond film, so I don't know. I mean, she's good, but I don't like the whole separating the 007 idea from James Bond. And... I don't know who this guy. He looks familiar. I just don't know. Idris, Elba. Idris has the look. I mean, like if anybody is, oh gonna yeah, be, gonna be a race man. Idris like has the look, the chops, just the refinedness about him and everything. Yeah. But I have to go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Uh, thank you for joining us, Ashley. All Me right, and CJH thanks, will hold down the fort. Uh, thanks for uh, covering that topic. Uh, appreciate it. Bye, guys. Of course, go, go sub to Ashley if you haven't already. What do you? How many subs are you up to now? Five hundred and fifty-seven. All right, doing good. Cool. You know, yes, gotta get yes. you there. I'll see you guys. All right. Thank good you, night. Max.